You know, in 1968, I was 15 years old. Um, my world has started to change a little bit because uh, 1968, August of 1968, my dad uh, retired from the Air Force and we moved back to uh, Amarillo, Texas. My parents had, had purchased a house in Amarillo in uh, probably 1959. Uh, when we came back from uh, Ramey Air Force Base in Puerto Rico. Um, but anyway, uh, we moved back there because we had the house. And my dad wasn't sure uh, what he was going to do prior to getting out of uh, the Air Force, retiring. He started learning how to uh, repair uh, electronic um, musical instruments, uh, particularly electronic organs. Uh, and he started going and taking classes uh, and seminars to learn how to fix uh, Wurlitzers and and Baldwin's and, and uh, Thomas uh, organs. And when we moved to Amarillo in 1968, um, my dad went to work uh, for some brothers uh, in Amarillo and Pampa, the Tarpley brothers, uh, Bill and Buzz Tarpley. And they respectively ran uh, music stores in Amarillo and Pampa, Tolzine Music in in Amarillo and uh, Tarpley in um, in Pampa. And so, you know, at that time, like I said, I was 15 years old, and I was really, really into playing the guitar. And every once in a while, my dad would come home. He'd have a guitar that he was transferring from one store to the other, and. So he'd bring it in out of the truck because he didn't want to leave it in the van in the house for fear of being broken into and stolen. And uh, he'd say, hey, I brought home, you know, whatever. Uh, I can remember one time he brought home a Gibson Dove that had to be transferred. And so I got to play on that Gibson Dove overnight uh, and uh, had a lot of fun with it. But uh, the, the the neatest thing was that in 1968, uh, I had... Uh, I, I, I had uh, siblings and my parents were trying to make ends meet and there wasn't a lot of money. Um, my, my dad did the best he can. Usually he was going to school to get an associate degree and he would um, work different jobs. Like I said, he worked primarily for Tolzines and Tarpley in Amarillo and Pampa. But uh, to try to make ends meet every once in a while, he'd have to work for uh, somebody else. He did a little, a little work on the side, a little moonlighting. And so the back of our house, he had a he had a room, and the thing was always full of musical instruments, uh, whether it was electronic organs or guitars and amplifiers. So so I always got to play on uh, whatever he brought home. But uh, I'll never forget the time the the and I believe it was right after Christmas uh, in 1968 that uh, I came home from school, and this guitar was. Uh, sitting on a stand in the living room, or our family room, and there was a six string and a bass, the Mustang bass, and the bass was for my brother Tim. And I could not believe my eyes that I actually had a Fender guitar. I had what I considered to be a, uh, a professional guitar uh, that was mine. And so um, I, I've had this guitar uh, for like 50 years now, and it's been one of my pride uh, possessions. My mom always jokes because it, it took so much for them to to pay for this guitar. He he, he got it from the store and, and he bought it on uh, you know on on time. Uh, you know, basically in those days there, were, there weren't a lot of credit cards, so uh, he got it. I think he got said he got a ten percent discount from from uh, Tolzines, and uh, he had to pay for it uh, over time. So my mom always says, "Don't you ever." You better not ever sell that guitar, you know, because, you know, it, it has sentimental value, but, you know, she knows how much work it was for my dad to uh, to pay for this guitar. So uh, it'll be with me and until the day that uh, I'm pushing up daisies. Uh, I just have to figure out uh, who's going to get it when I'm gone uh, within my family. Uh, like I said, it's a uh, it's a, uh, a a cherished a cherished instrument and it has a lot of sentiment. And uh, the stories are just, you know, th that I know every time I, I think of and pick up this guitar are, uh, are unending. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with it and uh, made a lot of memories.